Welcome back to the Morning Blend with our continuing series, Small Business Monday with Vert's Marketing. Today, four easy tips to maximize your company's revenue. And here now with more is Tim Vert's with Vert's Marketing. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Great to see you. you okay, too. so in terms of maximizing our company's revenue, number one, you say work on your perceived value. Well, let's think about Macy's and going to the perfume counter. So you're going to go buy something that's $100 and they're going to say free gift with purchase and it's going to say $75 value. Well, does it really cost them $75? It's probably going to cost them a few dollars, but you think you're saving $75. So it's really all about perceived value and what the consumer is going to do. So when you're putting a sale together, think about what you can make, what's going to make them really feel good. Mm -hmm. I like that. I always thought it was a $75 yeah, value. Yeah, right. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so make your discount appear um, big. And this was interesting. You're going to talk us through a little bit sure. of the math here, which sort yeah. of surprised me. Yeah, absolutely. So think about Kohl's Department Store. Is anything not on sale at Kohl's? I don't think so. It's always 30% off to start. So all the time what they do is they'll say 30% off and an extra 10% off. So it seems like 40%. It seems Do like the math. 40%. 30 plus 10, 40, okay. Well, think you're going to buy $100 worth of clothes, 30% off, it's $70. Now you're going to get another $10 off, so that's seven, so that's $37. You're actually getting 37% off, but they're very good as a company at convincing people 30 plus 10 is 40. So again, if you own a business, you're not wanting to mislead customers, but it's a very good way to have a, a lot of good perception about what your sale is. Especially about discounting. Um, a quick economics lesson. Sure. I took macro and micro in one semester and it was so hard. But one of the things you talk about is second degree price discrimination. Right. I think that was like something I remembered. Right. Yeah. So if you ever took an economics class, they talk about the three uh, degrees of price discrimination. All you need to remember, second degree uh, price discrimination means happy hour. Okay. So that's all you need to remember from that. So why do they do happy hours? So it's a time at restaurants or bars where it's virtually empty from you know three to five o'clock or three to six o'clock. So it's a great way to maximize revenue. You're gonna get people in there that normally wouldn't be coming because they're gonna get half price drinks, a dollar off a martini, whatever it is, and maybe even stay for dinner. So it's really as a business thinking about what your slow times are. Can you offer a sale that's still gonna be profitable and then it's going to improve your revenue. Now, it doesn't have to be just slow times during the day. If you run a business that's seasonal, maybe winter's slower. So you want to offer maybe some bigger incentives or discounts to get people in the door. It's a, a great way to maximize your revenue and your profitability. Mm -hmm. You think about airlines, too, off-season or resorts or things like that. It's yeah. a great point. You also say make your best customers feel special. Right. This pays off, doesn't it? Well, absolutely. You know, when you think about marketing, um, it costs seven times as much more money to get a brand new customer than it is to keep your existing customer happy. So you can save a lot of money by having happy customers and getting them to come back and talk about your business and, and getting them there. So you really want to focus on the loyalty. You want to stay in touch with them. And that's, again, a lot of the work that we do is helping companies uh, get in front of them, whether it's through social media, email marketing, uh, those sorts of things so that they're always happy and coming back and purchasing more. You're big spenders. You want to do right. the, the gift at the holidays, too, which it, is a great point, too. Tim, thank you so much. And here's sure. the information. If you'd like to maximize your company's um, revenue, you can get in touch with Vertz Marketing online. It's vertsmarketing.com. The phone number for more information, make an appointment, is 262-910-4125. You can reach Tim, too, at his offices in Mequon, as well as the Third Ward. Thank you so Thanks. much.